In this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to use the text to column feature in Excel. So sometimes, let's say if you take data from Microsoft Word, copy and paste it, and put it in Excel, the data will typically be pasted on into one column. And sometimes you want to take the information in that column and separate it into different columns. Now, there's many ways you can do this. You could use the concatenate function. But in this video, we're going to focus on using the text to column feature to get that job done. So let's go ahead and begin. Let's select the five names in column A, the first five names, and then go to data. And you'll see in the middle, something called text to columns. Let's click that option. And now, you have the option to choose delimited or fixed width. We're going to choose delimited. And you can see a preview of the selected data. Right now, we don't have it in separate columns, so we'll need to do some uh, extra work here. Click Next. You can still see the data preview. Now, the delimiters that we have selected is the comma. However, there's no comma that separates John from Smith or Lucy from Williams. The first name and the last name, they're separated by a space. So let's deselect comma and let's check space. Now notice that this line appears, this vertical line. So now it's going to be placed into two separate uh, columns. If the space is not checked, as you can see, that vertical line disappears. And so it's going to be pasted on into one column. So since the, the names are separated by a space, choose check the space option and then click next. By the way, this is Excel 2016, just in case uh, if you're wondering, because different versions of Excel might have a, a slightly different a dialog box opening up. Now, the next thing that you want to focus on is the destination. So where do you want Excel to paste the information? I want it to be in these two columns, columns C and D. And so once you select those columns, it's automatically going to put uh, that destination here. And then once you're done, just press the finish button. And as you can see, the information has been pasted on into two separate columns. And so here we have the first name, and in column D, the last name. So that's a very simple way in which you could use the text to column feature. Now let's try it again with the information that we have over here. So this time we have the first name, the middle initial, and the last name. And as you can see, the data in column A at the bottom, all of the names are separated by a comma. And so this time we need to use a comma as our delimiter. So let's select this information and then let's go to data, text to columns, and once again, we're going to choose the delimited option. And then after that, click next. So as you can see in the data preview section, we don't have a vertical line separating Jason from M and from Garcia. Because there's no space in between them. So let's uncheck the space option and let's click this checked. Let's check uh, the comma option. And now we can see the vertical line. So this time we need to paste it to three columns as opposed to two columns like we did in the last one. And so once you check the preview, if it looks good, go ahead and click next. Now let's select our destination. So I'm going to select from cell C9 all the way to cell E13. And so we can see it's here. And then the last thing we need to do is click the finish button. And as you can see, we have three columns of data. So let's insert a row. So here is the first name, the middle initial, and here we have the last name. And so that's a simple way in which you could use the text to column feature to take the information that is in one column and split it into multiple columns.